Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. The piano winner Brad Kella has admitted that he doesn't know what the keys mean and his extraordinary talent is based purely on listening and comparing sounds. The amateur pianist, 22, from Liverpool was declared Season 2's champion during Sunday's heart-wrenching finale at the Aviva Studios in Manchester. But on Tuesday's episode of This Morning, he revealed that not only is he self-taught, but the way he plays is through sound only because he cannot read or write music. Brad explained that he doesn't know what each key means, and each time he plays a song, it turns out differently because it is based on memory. Chatting to Ben Shepard and Kat Dealey, the musician said, when I'm playing music I could create a piece, like the Ev and Frank piece, but when you hear me play that piece again, parts of it will be slightly different. And that is purely because I actually don't know what I am playing. I don't know what the keys mean I just understand the sound distance in between each key. His candid interview comes just days after Brad left viewers in tears during his winning performance on Sunday as he reached the final alongside other hopefuls including fellow fan favorite Duncan, 80, who suffers from dementia. The Channel 4 show sees a range of musicians play the piano in train stations across the UK in a bid to impress passersby with their music. Brad took to the stage to perform a song he had written in honor of his beloved foster parents Ev and Frank, who wiped away tears as they watched from the audience. After impressing judges Mika and Lang Lang, as well as host Claudia Winkleman, and being declared the winner, he made an impassioned speech. He said, I just want to show that us care kids can still do stuff. We just need to be around the right people. Thank you so much for appreciating my music. Viewers were left in bits and took to X writing. Watch the piano the final and I have probably wept through the entire program. Well done Brad. So utterly deserved. I have just cried ugly tears from start to finish. Well done Brad on the the piano may have cried a few tears. While others said, wow hashtag the piano. All were brilliant, I had tears streaming down my face listening to the music and the stories of these talented musicians. Brad was inspirational what an amazing man to write such a wonderful piece for his foster parents, cue tears again. Brad previously spoke about his childhood and credited his foster parents with turning his life around. Saying, I got put in foster care when I was seven years old with my twin brother. I was so confused. I remember hanging on to the railings outside my foster parents' house, and I didn't want to go in. What they did for me and my brother was absolutely everything. They'd make sure we were up to start in school, routine, getting up early, going to bed early. They gave me absolutely everything and more. Explaining how his parents helped him develop his love for music he said, I never started playing piano until I was 14. I can't read music, I've never had a lesson in my life. But when I hear music, it's something about it. I feel it differently than normal people. Before adding, Ev put some money in to get a piano. From that moment, my life changed. Last year, fans were left captivated by the victorious performance on the show's debut from then 13-year-old blind and autistic girl, Lucy Illingworth, who won the show. The teenager from Halifax in West Yorkshire moved viewers to tears with an awe-inspiring recital of Debussy's Arabesque, leading judges Langland and Mika to call her a genius. One year on and the moment was nominated for a BAFTA, in a category with scenes from Doctor Who, Succession and Happy Valley. Also since her amazing performance on the Channel 4 talent show, Lucy has performed to a packed Royal Albert Hall, and left the King and Queen speechless as King Charles III's coronation concert. So, where is Lucy now, as the piano returns to find another hidden musical star? On her way to the piano's final, Lucy wowed passers by at Leeds train station with her rendition of Chopin's Nocturne in B-flat minor, with the video being viewed over 5 million times online. The pianist, who was born with cancerous tumors in her eyes and is largely nonverbal, was put forward by her mother Candace forward for the competition as she wanted to show others how.